the Renaissance luminary, Leonardo da Vinci's quest for knowledge. In the heart of Renaissance Italy, under the golden glow of the Tuscan sun, lived a man whose curiosity was as vast as the universe itself. This man, Leonardo da Vinci, was not just an artist but a visionary, a scientist, and an inventor, all rolled into one enigmatic figure. One fine spring morning, Leonardo set out from his workshop, his mind buzzing with a new idea that had kept him awake the previous night. With a leather-bound sketchbook tucked under his arm and a quill pen behind his ear, he made his way through the bustling streets of Florence, greeting acquaintances with a nod and a smile. His destination was the lush Arno River, the lifeblood of the city, where he intended to test his latest invention, a wooden contraption designed to walk on water. As Leonardo reached the riverbank, a group of curious onlookers gathered, whispering among themselves about the master's peculiar activities. Unperturbed, Leonardo began assembling his invention, his hands moving with the grace and precision of a skilled craftsman. The device, resembling a pair of oversized, hollow shoes attached to long, curved paddles, was his attempt at conquering the waters. With a deep breath, Leonardo stepped into the contraption, securing his feet inside. He glanced at the sky, took a moment to appreciate the beauty of the day, and pushed off from the shore. To the amazement of the onlookers, Leonardo began to glide across the river, his invention propelling him forward with each graceful step. Cheers erupted from the bank as the master inventor made his way across the Arno, proving once again that his genius knew no bounds. However, Leonardo's mind was never at rest. As he reached the opposite shore, he was already pondering improvements to his design, sketching modifications in his notebook with quick, confident strokes. His thoughts wandered to other projects, the flying machine that had been haunting his dreams, the underwater breathing apparatus, and the countless other inventions that lay ahead. Leonardo da Vinci was a man ahead of his time, a beacon of innovation and creativity in an era that revered tradition. His relentless pursuit of knowledge and his insatiable curiosity drove him to explore the mysteries of the world, leaving a legacy that would inspire generations to come. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm golden hue over Florence, Leonardo returned to his workshop, his mind ablaze with ideas. The day's experiment was just another step in his lifelong journey of discovery, a journey that knew no end. In a secluded corner of Milan, under the vast expanse of the azure sky, Leonardo da Vinci toiled away in secret. His workshop was a cavern of wonders, filled with drawings, models, and contraptions that seemed to defy the understanding of his contemporaries. Among these inventions, one stood out, a massive structure of wood, reeds, and linen, shaped like the wings of a bird. This was Leonardo's flying machine, the culmination of his lifelong dream to soar among the birds. Leonardo had spent years studying the flight of birds, meticulously observing their movements and sketching their wings. He believed that humans too could conquer the skies if only they could mimic the grace and mechanics of these natural aviators. His notebooks were filled with designs and theories on human flight, from ornithopters with flapping wings to parachutes and gliders. One autumn morning, with the leaves turning a golden hue, Leonardo decided it was time to test his grand invention. He had chosen one of his apprentices, a young man named Tommaso, to be the first to attempt flight. Tommaso had shown both courage and curiosity, traits that Leonardo admired and deemed essential for the monumental task ahead. As the sun began to rise, casting a soft light over the hills of Lombardy, Leonardo and Tommaso transported the flying machine to a nearby hill, the highest vantage point they could find. The air was crisp, and a gentle breeze whispered through the trees, as if nature itself was anticipating the momentous event. With the machine assembled and ready, Leonardo took a moment to address Tommaso, imparting words of encouragement and a reminder of the careful instructions he was to follow. Tommaso, clad in a harness attached to the machine, took his position. His heart raced with excitement and fear, but his trust in Leonardo gave him the courage to proceed. If you that person like to watch historical videos, you in the right place like and subscribe for more videos like this. With a deep breath, Tommaso ran down the hill, the wings of the machine catching the wind. For a few heart-stopping moments, he felt himself lifted off the ground, the earth slipping away beneath him. He was flying, actually flying, carried by the genius of Leonardo's design. 
The onlookers, a mix of Leonardo's trusted friends and fellow visionaries, gasped in awe and erupted into cheers as Tommaso glided gracefully through the air. Though the flight was short-lived, and Tommaso eventually came to a gentle landing further down the hill, the experiment was a triumph. Leonardo's eyes sparkled with the realization of a dream, the proof that human flight was within the realm of possibility. This event marked a significant moment in Leonardo's life, a testament to his belief that with imagination and determination, the impossible could become possible.